This is a transfer station for the effluent from the dairy shed and also it takes um, effluent from two underpasses. Uh, it all comes back into here. Uh, reason being is the dairy shed was actually lower uh, than the effluent system itself so we couldn't get gravity feed so we had to put in this pumping station. Unique features of this is obviously there's two pumps within here. One's a backup if one fails because you've got a lot of effluent coming this way and if yeah you don't need failures. Uh, and also there's a stirrer in there to stir up the concentration. Uh, also we put in these winching devices um, more around the, um, the health and safety side of things so you can winch these pumps out and work, work on them above land. First stage is the, is the stone trap and, and coming into the stone trap is all the, um, the effluent from the dairy shed and also at this particular farm it's the effluent from the, the feed lot which can be quite concentrated. Um, especially when you've got you know, 500 or more cows on the feedlot. Um, so that effluent comes into this stone trap and the, and the purpose of a stone trap is to get rid of the stones because you don't want the stones going through the, uh, your pumps and your stirrers and your, and your, um, uh, your separator and those sort of things. So once the stones are removed and all, all this does is, is the stones fall to the bottom and the liquid goes out the top. See this is another unique feature to the gear range is the, is the dam door and the dam door um, is here purely to, uh, we can lift the segments up to get rid of the liquid from the stone trap so all we're left with is the, is the um, solids and, and um, sand so then getting it out is a lot easier with your front end loader because uh, a common problem with most st um, stone traps is you go in with the front end loader and you get a big gush of water off over the side which you don't want so this allows you to drain that water out. Next step in the process is the high pond so from the stone trap that liquid travels to the, to the high pond which is still quite concentrated effluent uh, and within this pond we, we stir it um, to keep it all suspended and then from there it gets pumped up to our separator to get the solids separated out. The next step, uh, separation and this is where we take out the, the solids, anything from 0.5 of a mil uh, and up uh, comes out into the bunker here and then the, the liquids that's left over get obviously squeezed out and then transferred to our next high pond. Now that we're, we've got a, our liquids into high pond two, um, we, there's a stirrer in here which keeps it stirred. Um, it, it, that's just to keep the, the 0.5 of a mil particles off the bottom and, and keep it suspended. But from here we can do either pump it straight to farm or uh, pump it to a three million litre pond up the hill or we can then tra or transfer it back to the shed for a green wash um, and green washes are used to, to wash the yard um, which is a, a, a good source of um, water as, as you don't need to draw it out of a bore uh, to do the same thing. This is obviously the last stage in our, um, our system where the, uh, the liquid then gets transferred uh, to multiple areas uh, through one of these pumps it can get transferred to three different parts of the farm um, where there's K lines set up. So via the, um, the NIND effluent management system, which is unique to, uh, to us, uh, we were the inventor of it and the first ever to do it. Um, it can obviously, uh, it's got the brains to pump from one lot of uh, K lines to then for 15 minutes and then shut down and then pump to another lot of K lines for another 15 minutes and then, and then pump to the third lot. Um, all via these valves here which uh, go off and on. Um, it's also got a, a, quite a few safeties uh, hooked in, a, a low flow, uh, over pressure, under pressure, um, which saves the pump obviously and also out on farm if we, we blow a K line off um, it'll shut down on a, on a, obviously on a low flow uh, or if we get a blockage out on farm it'll shut down on a high flow. A high pressure, sorry. Um, also in this shed, we've got the another pump, which is our transfer up to the um, up to the pond if we can't uh, put it out the farm. And also this pump does our green wash back at the shed. Uh, and also we can transfer it to the feed pad as well to flood the feed pad uh, if need be.